Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you. So we're um, doing things a little differently today. Not by choice, by, you know, by force, but that's okay. That's okay. If you're new here, normally what we do for these Happy Home Paradise videos is we are voiceovering after the fact and showing you the speed build of whatever villager's home I did on that particular day. Um, not today, because unfortunately, I lost all of the footage from today's speed build, which is so sad because today's build is very, very special to me because I made a home for one of my, and probably my very favorite villager, I would call him like literally my best friend because I've had him since the beginning of the game, but that being Walker, I finally let him move off of my island, I've been holding him captive because I felt comfortable moving him over to this island. But unfortunately, my computer had a big old, uh, big old oopsie and I lost all of that footage. But rather than not showing you what I did, I decided let's just do a video anyway and I'm gonna walk you through Walker's vacation home. Oh, actually, yeah, let's go this way. I never talked to Nico to visit the homes. Do you guys do that? Like, oh no, that's the wrong one, this one. I never do it. I just, I just go here. <laughs> I just do it myself. Like I appreciate your boat, Nico, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it myself. Oh, look at my little baby boy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna walk through this, and I'm basically going to just explain what I did. It's gonna be nostalgic because I, this is my best friend right here. This is Snoopy, the love of my life. He is just, this is my bud. Okay, did I cry when I let him move off my island last week? Yeah. I did. Am I a 22-year-old grown woman? Yes, I am. But that's okay. <laughs> oh, look how cute he is. So I kind of had a goal in mind here. I wanted to make this build very nostalgic for myself and do little nods at the different builds I've done for Walker over all of his time living on my island. So the prompt he wanted was very simple. It was just literally a place to store his bike. So for his exterior, I wanted to pay a little homage to his final home on my previous island, which was a city core island. And I made him live right across the street from the small little dog run. So I kind of wanted to do that here. You could see I have all of the, I have all of his buddies over here. Look at his little buddies. They're all just, they're all just having a good time. They're having a good time having fun. Um, and then of course we have the place to actually store his bikes over here. I just, you know, pretty simple. Honestly, the exterior is not that complicated. And then for his home design, I wanted to keep it black and white like him and the red door just screams Snoopy to me. And you can't tell me this is not Snoopy, but in Animal Crossing. You can't tell me. I think Walker is the cutest little boy and I think that he does not get enough love, and he really should. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> let's go inside. I feel like this is going to be the quickest video ever because normally I'm editing down like four hours of footage, and it so it takes a long time. But this is me just literally being like, well, here it is. But I just want to. I feel really proud of it. I want you to get to see it. So before I talk about everything, let's just do a little, um, a little this moment, a little, uh, a little turn now let's go let's go like this let's go like this we'll do a little little 360 action a little 360 action for this room i love this room so what i was going for here was i wanted to give walker a playroom i try as much as i can to give every single happy home villager a little small business that they run in the same way that i do on my actual island i kind of want them are you sitting on the tire baby you can sit on this this is a little more comfortable look at him just sitting on the tire are you comfy sir is this comfortable for you <laughs> um so i wanted everyone to have like a little small business i couldn't figure out what i wanted that to be for walker because i just wanted it to be a fun space he just deserves nothing but fun so i decided to make it as if this is like where you come to play this is like your play group you're having fun he's a little baby so it's fine he's a little baby this is his baby play group but it's fun so i decided to do it like this is the indoor toy section thing i love this item so much these little model kits they just look like board games to me though so i just in my head i call them board games i love them like they're just so cute and yes 
So then we have some paint over here and uh, pop-up books and then little drinks that you can drink while you're playing around. And then I have the old-fashioned karaoke thing, but it looks like a TV to me, so just go with it. And I have our little movie, our little movie club over here. These are the kids who are way too into movies at such a young age, and we love them for it. And they bring their very favorite stuffed animal to sit and watch with them, and it's just, it's just happening. Then over here, we're in our outdoor kind of section. We, of course, have the bikes because that's what he wanted. As well as you guys saw, I put bikes all over the walls as well. And then just, just some like more outdoor toys. I thought the tires were fun, especially because they tied in to what I did for the exterior and for the previous build that I had in my actual island. There were tires everywhere near Walker's house. And then in the center, I decided to put this chessboard because it is black and white and he is a black and white Snoopy dog. Thought that was cute, and I just love the little window seat outdoor moment. It kind of feels like, I don't know, it kind of feels like a little red dog house to me. Like, we're inside his little red dog house, and I just absolutely love that. This is Walker's playroom. I'm so happy with it. I apologize so much that you guys couldn't see me speed build it, but in a way, maybe this was Animal Crossing telling me I needed to... I needed to have this one all to myself because it was very special to me. You probably don't believe me because there are so many nostalgic villager houses I've done now, so I feel like I'm always like, this villager is super, super special, but Walker is by far my favorite, so it is very special. Now, of course, up here we have Walker's bedroom, which I made an arcade. And I made it an arcade not only because, again, Walker is very fun and I think he deserves fun things, but on my very first ever island, Walker's Yard was a tiny, tiny, tiny mini arcade with like literally one item. And um, now I've decided, you know, he's gotten upgraded. He's gotten upgraded. He deserves like a nice actual arcade. So here's the nice little 360 of it. We're going nice and slow. We've got that cute little concession stand over in the corner. We've got the throwback clocks, of course, and I just love these neon signs with the hearts, just so he knows how much I love him, you know? And then I know that the imperial bed might not really fit, but I kind of just, you know what? I like it. I like it. I think it kind of feels like weirdly elegant in this arcade, and I feel like Walker deserves that. It's both fun, but also kind of dreamy with the back star wallpaper. And I just love it. I think Walker really does. Oh, look at it with the lights off too. Oh, so good, so good. Yeah, I just really wanted to show this. Again, I know this is like a quick, quick little video, but it just was too important to me not to. And I haven't, I haven't not showed you guys any happy home builds. You guys have seen every single one I've ever done literally from the beginning when it was just one room and I had zero items unlocked. So I felt like I absolutely needed to show you guys this one. But again, sorry that it's not the full speed build. I really wish you guys got to see that, but hopefully this is sufficient enough and you got to enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can really say about it. But yeah, let me know which room was your favorite down below. Let's go back outside just to like, you know, run through all the rooms one more time. I think they're all very cohesive, even though they are different. Like we have the dog run outside, the play group downstairs, and of course the arcade upstairs. They're all fun little spaces and I don't know, they just feel very Walker to me. So here we are back outside. Walker is, but what are you doing back there, baby? C come out from back there, come over here. I'm gonna move you, I'm gonna move you. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. You can go right here. Can go right there cool 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 all right well a very quick video but i really hope you guys enjoyed it this was you know this was this is what happens sometimes your computer just totally malfunctions and doesn't record any of the hard work you've done but that's okay you're not upset about it instead you could do a nice little mini walkthrough and that's fine too so if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. I'm not planning on doing uh, more walkthroughs. I definitely prefer to do these speed builds. I think they're a little bit more fun, but you know, if you liked this, let me know. I will certainly keep it 
as an option for the future. Um, and if you are remotely interested in me, if you like Animal Crossing New Horizons, if you like Happy Home Paradise, feel like subscribing might be a good option for you as I do post videos every other day and I do stream weekly now. Sorry, I'm getting Nico out of the shot. You can just kind of like see his head. Um, I'm over it. And I also don't like this. I don't like this stuff. Like this little, that's like the border of every vacation home. Like get that out of here. Get, the, get that out of here. I also post pictures of my Animal Crossing builds every single day on my Instagram. So you can check that out. Lots of times I have to crop out that little rope moment that's happening on the floor. And, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.